Hello everyone. As we gear up for a pivotal day, I'll delve into how the upcoming CPI release could potentially impact NAO, SPY, Tesla, and QQ key stocks. NAO's recent decline, coupled with Alibaba's earnings and broader market dynamics, underscores the crucial role of CPI's impending influence. I'm also going to break down. Why? Tomorrow is going to be an absolutely massive day as we have CPI coming out. I'm going to break down how this may affect NIO and also SPY, Tesla, and the QQQ. But before I break anything down, all this information, before I get into any more details, I'll talk about what's going on with NIO and what the news is saying about it and how on earth the CPI may affect it. So anyways, NIO is down 4.34% for the day. We did have some bearish news that came out involving a lawsuit. But besides that, there are other important things we have to the discuss. But for now, NEO is down and we have another very big catalyst that will affect how NEO moves. It's going to be CPI. Now as far as earnings go for today, we have Disney coming out very, very soon. Then we have Alibaba tomorrow before the market opens. This will have a big effect on how NEO moves, so make sure you're ready for Alibaba. Their earnings is going to be quite significant, but another thing that's going to be very significant will be how the whole market moves. That's going to be heavily dictated by CPI coming out one hour before the market opens. We also have initial jobless claims coming out, and we want this to be very close to the consensus. But the truth is this won't matter as much. What's going to matter a lot more will be the CPI report right over here one hour before the market opens. Once again, what are we expecting? How should things look? Basically, many investors are expecting a 3.2% to 3.3% CPI. Most of them are saying like 3.3%. That's like the most popular opinion, and then we want core to be around 4.7%. That's a small difference from the 4.8% we saw in June. That's what we're expecting. What are we hoping for? What do we think will happen? Now moving forward, I just want to mention that as time progresses, we're uncertain about how this will appear. In the event that the CPI is 4.8% or higher, the market and I'm talking about about that. Core CPI, if core is 4.8% or higher, the market could get a rug pull. On top of that, you have to account for what the headline CPI is. If both of these are hot, the market is gonna get a rug pull. We're expecting a substantial decline. If CPI is 3.3 to 3.4% or higher than that, where chances are that we'll observe some decline too. If CPI is 3.2% or lower and core is like 4.6% or lower, then the market could get a bounce, but this will all depend on these numbers. We'll need to wait and observe regarding this matter. Now I just want to mention that gas prices did go up just a little bit. They're up about $0.03 per gallon raw, ultimate to the previous month of June. So that's June compared to July. This could be significant. It could have a negative effect and lead the overall CPI to go up. But there's no telling how this is going to play out. So here's what I'm looking for on SPY. This is also going to be similar to what happens to the S and P500. The SPX is going to lead this. But I like to talk about SPY because it has nice setups and it tends to follow SPX anyways. But I just want to mention that there's a falling wedge forming on SPY that does not guarantee anything. However, if CPI is little hot, there's a potential for this scenario to occur, causing a significant drop, possibly down to 442, maybe even lower. It could drop a little bit lower than this and just start taking towards 442, which is where we have an unfilled gap. If it's a very hot CPI, if CPI is lower than expected, expected gap up, and this thing could start pushing back into like the example. That is a real possibility. It all depends on CPI. So far, the market's dropping approaching it, and this is part of why the market sold off for NEO. We also had this news that came out as the U.S. Judges have once again approved a NEO investor class action lawsuit over the factory claims. And this is some important news right here in America. The NEO investors can proceed as a class action lawsuit claiming that NEO lied about building its own factory in Shanghai during its IPO in 2018. The judges have basically approved of it, 
and they're allowed to go forward with this. They're seeking once again damages from NEO. They're demanding that there's going to be some kind of compensation, and they're once again fighting about this moving forward. They claim that NEO claimed that they were going to basically build their own Shanghai Gigafactory, and then they ended up not doing that. There's no factory that ended up getting built. They kind of just backed on the idea and the pattern that persists is their ongoing argumentation about this. Once again, NEO's input appears to be absent, as far as I can tell. Nonetheless, the final outcome is undetermined if we get any response from them. They also mentioned that when NEO disclosed that the plant would not be built in March of 2019, there was a big drop and many investors are just saying that they were missled by the company and the lawsuit just continues to go on. We'll observe the unfolding of this situation. I mean, this is some important news that came out. This is some negative news for them, and this is another reason why NEO was selling off. But besides that, NEO is still looking neutral and UBS's eyes and price-press ratio is declining a little bit. That's a sign of weakness for NEO, and in terms of seasonality, we tend to be green only about 50. It's actually like 50-50 for Thursday. So nothing new over there. The short interest went up, and it went down just a tiny bit over the last few days, but it still is elevated. And finally, the volume is 57 million, a little bit below average. So overall, that is pointing the same directions. However, the query remains, what is NEO's present appearance? What's going to likely happen to it? Here's the response I have. It all comes down to CPI. If both the headline CPI and the core CPI are above what we're expecting, the whole stock market is going to get a rug pull. I want to warn you about this, okay? The bearish scenario I presented for SPY seems to be unfolding. It appears that SPY will decline and potentially reach the 442 level. NEO is going to get rug pulled all the way down into the 12s. It seems quite likely that our attention will be focused on approximately 12.5, which could serve as a potential support level. NEO is going to come down pretty hard if we get a hot CPI, if CPI is as expected or lower. Same thing with core CPI. If both of them are as expected or lower, NEO tried to fill this gap and push all the way back up to about 14 plus, at least $14 again for NEO for SPY. If we get a hot CPI, we'll be closely observing this situation as it progresses, with the expectation that it may decline significantly to approximately 442. If it's too high, 442 is going to be very possible. If CPI is lower than expected, Expect this thing to push up above 450 or even higher than that. It could go to like 452 plus for Tesla. If we get a hot CPI, Tesla is going to come and come all the way down into the 238 area. Or lower than that, 235 becomes a real possibility. We have that unfilled gap way back here. Tesla could fill this gap and continue dropping into the 230s. It's very likely it will end up doing that, but we're going to be discussing what happens with CPI first. If CPI helps the market bounce, Tesla pushing for 250, if not Tesla is going to be well into the 230s very, very soon. And then last but not least, before I talk about NEO again for the QQQ, if we get a hot CPI, this is going to come all the way down to it didn't just fill these gaps already, it's going to come down to much lower levels. This thing approached 363 as a possibility, if not 360 flat. And if we get a bounce, you're going to be discussed the retest about 375 plus for NEO. Once again, NEO is going to be dictated by the markets. Another factor that could affect it is going to be Alibaba's earnings. So all these things together could affect it, but in my opinion it could go either way depending on CPI. That's very hard to predict from a technical standpoint. NEO looks more bearish as we're getting a bearish cross on the PPO. Stods are favoring downside a little bit more, but just to be safe, we'll have to wait and discuss what CPI brings us. If NEO gets a bounce, don't forget 14 plus is a possibility if we come down 12.5. It all depends on CPI, and until then, thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update.
Happy investing and see you in the next video.